I think from that you can also see how uh, we, you know, how our ancestors um, held on to their traditions, um, even while embracing a new tradition. Uh, you know, especially uh, for Bunyoro, I, I remember, I forget, I forget his name, um, and, you know, this is definitely not uh, a politically correct to say today, but he called he called them <laughs> cultural schizophrenics um, because mm -hmm. uh, they would partic they would come to church or do what the missionaries were telling them to do. They would pray, da -da -da -da, do all that, but then they found out that they were secretly still doing their religions, which the British had outlawed, <laughs> and you know they were doing it in secret and there was a sense uh, that even for those who had converted, uh, mm. the missionaries were like, oh, they were so proud of themselves, patting themselves on the back, like, oh my God, we've, we've converted these people. But when things weren't going right, sometimes the people would suggest, they'd say like, you know, you know what's really happening here? It's like, what? It's because we abandoned the old gods. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> And the missionaries were like, what? No, 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 no. It's, we, we, we need to pray to God. But like there was this, it was still there, right? Yeah. Uh, and when I read that, I was like, oh my God. Like <laughs> it, that our, our beliefs were still there even while embracing these, these, these new things. And I think that that dual marriage thing is a perfect example of that. 